tell me what, Dave, what got you interested in Albuquerque, Texas? Well, it's kind of a roundabout story. When I joined the Buckhorn, a friend of mine who had been operating it before I got there pointed to a shotgun in the corner of my office and said, you might want to look into the history behind that shotgun because I think there's something to it. And I looked at it and I didn't really pay much attention to it until I read John Wesley Hardin's autobiography. In his autobiography, he talks about how he went to, on a, on a mission, to kill the sheriff of DeWitt County. Well, on this shotgun that was brought into the Buckhorn by, I think, maybe the grandson of the sheriff of DeWitt County in 1934, something like that, there's a postcard stuck to the stock, glued to the stock, that said, this shotgun was used to kill the sheriff of DeWitt County in the interest of law and order. And then it had the fellow's name and then the date, which I think was like 1934, something like that. So it had been something that had been donated to the Buckhorn way back when. So I'm kind of connecting the dots between Hardin's autobiography where he talks about killing the sheriff of DeWitt County with a shotgun. <clears throat> and there's a drawing in his book by Underdunk of him killing the sheriff of DeWitt County with a shotgun. And then I'm looking at the shotgun over in the corner <laughs> of my office that was used to kill the sheriff of DeWitt <laughs> County. And I'm going, this is Hardin's shotgun. <laughs> That's good. So that's how I got interested in Albuquerque and the story of that <clears throat> incident where Hardin and Taylor teamed up to kill Jack Helm because Helm had threatened <clears throat> Hardin's wife. Well, you know, today we went on a pretty uh, great adventure, I think, in finding the, uh, uh, the old town of Albuquerque and the uh, Jack Helm's grave uh, that was next to the town of Albuquerque. Well, there's a lot of, uh, shall we call it, serendipity into this story. Because, say for instance, my friend would have never pointed out that shotgun in the corner that was in horrible shape, by the way. You know, we, we might have just thrown it away. Um... Uh, or the fact that he pointed out that shotgun, and then I happened to read Hardin's autobiography, where they talk about yeah. using a shotgun. <clears throat> That's great. The sheriff of the way. Yeah. And then today, if we wouldn't have run into Mr. Wynn, yeah. if we wouldn't have had the GPS coordinates, if we wouldn't have been all kind of working together to find the site, and then if Kurt wouldn't have happened to stumble upon the grave yep. site that nobody could find. That's right. Uh, there's a lot of kind of... You, you know, I bet there hadn't been a handful of people that's been on that property. <laughs> yeah. oh. Serendipity, I guess. Oh, yeah. fire. The one time that I know of next that Harden was set out good. to kill someone right was when track. he set out to kill Jack Helm. And what did he take? His gun of preference was not a handgun. It was a double barrel shotgun. Uh -huh. yeah. This is a shotgun that started my interest in Albuquerque. Albuquerque, Texas. The uh, card that is glued to the stock says, this gun belonged to John Wesley Harden. It was used by him to kill the sheriff of DeWitt County. He later gave the gun to Sheriff J.C. Jones of Gonzales County, who killed several men with it in the interest of law and order. From O.D. Mangum, Victoria, Texas, 1937. And where did you find this shotgun? It was in the corner of the office at the bunker.
It was just stuck in an old office, and when Dave was director of the Buckhorn, what years, Dave? 2000 through 2009. He found that old shotgun. It was in terrible shape, rusted to horrible, and showed it to me and said, look at this. I found this in the closet, and we got all hipped up, and I had it restored, and now it's on display. It's been featured in books. We're real proud of it. So it did mention Harden, it didn't mention Helm. So, and if you look into that story though, it's a kind of a big story because Helm was the most hated man in the whole state of Texas. And after Harden killed him, he says in his autobiography, he got postcards or he got letters from all over the place thanking him. Thanking him for, for killing Jack <laughs> Helm. That's great. And, uh, in Harden's autobiography, there are sketches by Robert Underdog illustrating the killing of Jack Helm in the blacksmith shop in Albuquerque, Texas by what was Jim Taylor and Harden.